Hey, this is Glennon Cameron again with part two of the paid blogger. Big blog income is dependent upon big blog ideals. There are many people that want their blog to make a lot of money, but they haven't thought about the concept, the ideal, or the audience. That's how you end up writing a blog for four or five or six years and it makes no money. This happens all the time. If you are happy writing and producing content for the people who find your blog, awesome. Don't watch this video. But if you're frustrated, you want to build a blog, build digital content that actually makes mortgage paying money, then keep watching. And once again, if you're not interested in blogs, audiobooks, ebooks, video creation, any of that stuff, don't watch. You'll just be frustrated. Kind of like not having any lotion. If you want to make a blog that makes money, you have to have a really big idea. Now I'm not talking about the subject matter. I'm talking about the format and I'm talking about the execution of your ideal. Let's say you have a blog about making paper cut out dolls. Now many people say there's not a lot of money in that. But once again, the money is not in what you're doing. The money is in the ideal. Uber, uh, the largest transportation company in the world, owns no transportation assets. So once again, why does Uber work? Because of the ideal. Work on building your big ideal and then execution. We're going to talk about some things that's going to blow your mind. Hold on a second. I need a sandwich. The recipe for making a profitable blog, like I said, starts with your ideal. Now, when I speak of ideal, I'm not talking about the paper dolls or I'm not talking about a fitness blog. I am talking about the setup and the format. Give you an example. There are many people who will not read a blog from first post to last post if it's, say, 300 posts. It won't do it. This is like, that's too much work. But if you take the same post and put them in a coherent manner and put them in something called a book, then more people will read the same exact material. That's what I'm talking about with the execution of your ideal. You need a stru you need structure and a format to what you're doing. I've been making content since 2009 purely for a digital world. And some of the things that I've learned is you don't have to be everywhere. You don't have to be on every social media platform. In some cases, if you're really good on one, that's enough. Now, I know that's not what you're hearing. You need to be everywhere. Recently, there was a development with Facebook video that said, oh, okay, now I'll go over there. But before it wasn't happening and still, I don't know how they're going to monetize that stuff. But the whole deal is with the creation of your content, Believe it or not, that's roughly 10, 20%. Everyone has great content. It's everywhere. Great uh, blogs, great videos, great courses for free. They're all over the place, but there is a group of people online who make a full-time living doing this year after year, and it's because of their execution of their ideal. So if you want to be a paid blogger, you have to think of your big ideal, get your execution together, and take the following steps. When you start deciding what kind of blog you're going to make, you really have to think a year or two in advance. And what I mean, let's say you do a blog that's uh, about The Walking Dead. There's a ton of blogs about The Walking Dead. There are podcasts about The Walking Dead. And it has a sh they have a shelf life. It's at some point, The Walking Dead is going to have its final episode. They're going to either be eaten by all the zombies or something's going to happen. And then that stuff's going to kind of drift away. I think it will still have some kind of iconic appeal. But the thing is, those people who are making money from those blogs, they're going to watch it dry up. So when you're putting together your big ideal, ask yourself, does it have longevity? Is this something that you will not get sick and sick and tired of after a few months? That's another thing that, you know, people don't really talk about because putting together content is 10 times as hard as consuming it. Maybe a hundred times as hard as consuming it, depending upon the content that you put out. 
Now, if you want to be a paid blogger, you have to think from a strategic standpoint. Once again, the big ideal, your big concept is more important than the topic because you can have blogger A, you can have blogger B. They're both talking about fitness, yet you got one who's making $250,000 a year and the other one who barely makes enough to get their AdSense payment. But they're talking about the same thing. Different formats, different ideals, different execution, different strategy. It is all in the strategy. We live in a world, you can virtually talk about anything. There's an audience, there's a niche, there are people who are interested in just about anything. You don't believe me? Just sit back and think of some of the most insipid things you can, that can come to mind and go to Google and see that there is a bunch of searches for that. I mean, just about anything. So there's always a camp, a niche, a group, a tribe. But the thing is, will that tribe pay you money for your efforts? And in many cases, no. You could work your ass off. You could be putting out content, working on your blog, and make no money. Now, let's go back to you know, 2009 when I created my first blog and I started making money. It was my intention to make money from day one. And it didn't take me years and years and years. Now, once again, if you want to be a paid blogger, you must get it in your head that money's not bad and charging people for putting together structure, putting together a great product, putting together the best of the best strategies that you have experienced, that you know that work, there's nothing wrong with that. There are some people who actually think it's wrong to be paid. And you'll even hear them, it's like, hey, I'm talking about this. I'm not an affiliate and I'm not getting paid for this. Like if I was to get paid for this, this would be really horrible. Get rid of that nonsense. Money's not bad. Money makes the world go round. Now, you can't do your blog for the own, for just for money. There has to be the big purpose, which I talked about in part one. Because I'm going to break this down and give it to you in bite-sized pieces so you can absorb how this works. Because let's say you want to do a blog. And I should just go ahead and warn you with expectations. I started working on my blogs July 17th, 3.30 p.m. 2009. That's when I started stuff. That's when I got hosting, started buying domain names. I did not see my first dollar until October. So July, August, September, October. And from what I've heard, that's relatively quick. But full disclosure, that was all I was doing. I didn't have a job, I didn't have a lot of bills, and I was able to devote all my waking hours to working on that, which was me creating a lot of content very fast every day. It was my job, like, this is my job, to work on these blogs and to ask people, you know, and I was actually out going out and doing interviews. Uh, it's amazing, if you tell people, hey, I'm writing a book about this particular topic, do you mind if I interview you? Most people will say yes. I'm serious. It's just, I'm going to tell you a little story here. And this is really wild. And I didn't even see it was coming. I went to one of my little favorite hangouts, right? And I saw a table full of women. All of them were like bad as hell. And I was like, that's a good subject group. Because I wasn't going over there to hit on anybody. I was actually going over there to get information. So I walk over and I was like, I introduced myself. And I was like, hey, this is what I'm doing. Would you mind participating? And they were like, so all of a sudden, I'm like at this table with all of them for like three hours. We're having a great conversation. Dudes are looking at me like, how the fuck did you get over there? So what I'm telling you is that if you start on this path and you have a high purpose, that is you are authentic, that you're really trying to do something, doors will open all over the place for you. So that even though you may not be making money initially, you will start opening doors that will lead to money because one of the people at that table became a client two years down the road. And it would have never happened if I had not gone out and made that connection. So this can be very big for you and it can get you out your shell and it can actually energize your life. But 
The point I'm trying to make is you're going to work quite a bit. You're going to put a lot of effort out there. And if you're on purpose, let me once again say that if you're on purpose, it's going to work out in ways you cannot foresee. That's why, you know, purpose here, money here. Or it could be purpose here and money here. But you, you got to have this purpose. It's got to be there because if it's just money, 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 you're going to burn out. Because the minute that you get enough money to satisfy whatever pain that you may be feeling, you're going to stop. You're going to stop working hard. You're going to stop contributing. You're going to stop putting out content and your stuff's just going to like fall apart. So that's why the purpose is really, really big, 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 big. And we're going to talk about that quite a bit in the paid blogger. Now, since we're at the end of this video, for those of you who don't care about this stuff, let me go into what's going to happen this month. I'm going to launch a new site just to make it clear. There's hustlerskungfu.com, which is the hustling content, the courses, how to flip stuff, buy stuff and mindset. Then there's glendoncameron.com, which is going to be my personal development site. And then there is electric Kung Fu, which was going to be the intellectual do intellectual property dojo, but I didn't like the name. It was just too clunky. And I really wanted something that would encompass all of the parts of creating content that makes you a paid blogger, a paid video guy, a paid uh, Instagram person. All of that stuff is going to be there for people who want to make money strictly from digital content and living that digital ninja life. And that's what it's going to be about. So this is how it works. The first course is the paid blogger. You could just take that. Or there will be a founder offer that I'll start talking about in more detail, probably later in the week or the beginning of the week, because we're going to start with the paid blogger this Monday. Now, this is the beautiful thing. Let's go back to hustlerkungfu.com, which was an experiment. It was a great experiment. It taught me a lot. I already have 400 students for the paid blogger. And that was the thing. So this thing is going down and this is what the beauty of being an online creator and having a strategy. I created Hustlers Kung Fu because I tried a lot of different things and it didn't work out and I needed more information. So I figured out price points. I figured out delivery. I figured out structure. I figured out, you know, if a course is just too long, people are just not going to finish it. So that helped me design and implement electric kung fu in a much different manner but once again if you want to be part of that go below the video get on the email list and i'm going to actually probably kick off two webinars this week since i'm feeling better and that's how you'll get first notice of when these webinars are going down so once again make sure you go below the video get on the list and we'll talk about things in detail in the webinars that are going to happen this week because today is Tuesday. I'll probably do them Wednesday and Thursday. And that way you can pop in the webinar, ask me all these questions that you want to ask. And if you already know that you're going to be part of the paid blogger, go ahead below this video and there's a few things you'll need. You'll need a domain name, you'll need hosting and you will need an email client because the first part of the paid blogger will be the email, the email list. I got a, four different names, but uh, essentially I'm going to teach you how to build the email list from jump the way that I wish someone had taught me because you always hear it. build an email list, build an email list. It's very important, but no one tells you, okay, well you actually need to do this. You need to segment your list and oh yeah. And this is something else. Whatever you start with is going to be, hard to transfer because you can download people's names on an Excel sheet and transfer it. But if these people have not confirmed, you can't take them to your new site, to your new email client. So it is best to build your list clean to get as many people to confirm as possible early and to build a better list. Because if you build a janky list, you're going to get janky income. If you build a strong, solid list, you're going to get strong, solid income. I have collectively five lists. And my smallest list made me, which is 420 people, I believe. Yeah, 420 people. And that list made me the most money during the Black Friday promotions. It had an open rate of 62% and it had a click-through rate of 
Now, if you're an internet marketer, you know those are like, whoa, numbers. And like I said, it's 400 and some people, but it was built right and the offers were appropriate. But when you build a janky list where, you know, something that I've done, I'm guilty, I'll raise my paw. Janky List Incorporated, I did that. You, you, you send out emails and you have open rates of like 6%, 9%, click through rates of 0.5%. It's very depressing because essentially what you're doing is communicating with people who should not be on the list anyway. And it, I built it wrong and that's one of the reasons, like if you're on uh, some two big lists I have and you're getting stuff from MailChimp, December 21st, those lists are gonna go boom, they're gonna explode and go away. So just something, you know, if you're not transitioned over to the new thing, because we're gonna go hard and we're gonna go rugged. All right, so just some things for you to think about, some things for you to chew on and once again, go below the video, get on that first list and prepare yourself for the paid blogger because you're going to need this stuff because the way that Electric Kung Fu is set up, the first course is going to be needed for you to take the second course. And the second course is going to be needed for you to take the third course. So it doesn't make sense for you to pop in. You could pop in on the second course if you've got a seasoned internet person but it could be a problem if you're not familiar with my method or they just clash with your ideals. So it's best to get in. And once again, I'll let people know what the founder's deal will be for Electric Kung Fu very soon. All right, this is Glendon and I will see you in the next session. Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. Merry Christmas.